what's up guys? It's me, Patrick Isarena, and today, I'll be doing my friend's makeup inspired by the Netflix series, Kingdom. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button for more updates. is natural looking instead of attaching a whole wig on our model's chin. The hair that we've used is actually from an old wig cut into a 6 inch in length and into several pieces. Make sure to cover both sides for a fuller look. Then we apply the liquid latex. I got this product from Shopee and we will put the link on the description box below. After applying a thin layer of liquid latex, get a piece of cotton and attach it to the first layer. Make sure to flatten the side so it would look seamless. This will give us an effect of a swollen face. Next is to get a paper towel. Cover most of the face with the paper towel. Make sure to create texture as you go along. Cut the pieces that are not necessary and pat the edges so it would look seamless. This part is actually crucial. This will give us the texture that we need to create a zombie and horrifying look. Once done with both sides of the cheek, focus on the forehead. And of course, don't forget the texture as this is going to be very important once we add color. For starters, make sure not to put the liquid latex in the eye because this is not suitable for internal use. Fill in all the gaps with the paper towel until you create a face mask. To hide the eyebrows, we will use a regular clear glue stick. Now going back to your beard, once the eyelash glue sets and it's already dry, it's time to cut it. Of course, cut it to your desired length. I'm cutting it quite longer than the usual because I believe that even though a person is dead, the hair still grows long, right? <laughs> no, I'm just making it long because it will capture all the blood later.
Use your paddle brush to style it. Now it's time to color. But before anything else, let's put a primer to the exposed skin. I'm using Eliana Mineral Cosmetics Blur Makeup Primer. Make sure to cover all of the skin that are exposed. Let's start evening out the skin tone by using our foundation. I'm using Laura Mercier Warm Ivory Cream Smooth Foundation. Be generous at this part so that we can cover all of those tissues and liquid latex. Once done, use any kind of setting powder. Now it's time to color. I'm using a color palette I also got from Shopee for face painting. Start with your greens, then follow it with your browns. Fill in those holes that look like wounds. For scarier look, we've added contact lenses, and of course, the fake blood. At this part, we've also enhanced the model's beard. We've just colored it black. And more fake blood. Don't forget to contour the upper and lower lip. We've tried doing a dripping blood effect using ketchup, but it didn't work. So we go back to fake blood. And here's the final look.
Diyan, diyan lang, diyan lang. Walang kamay, walang kamay. Ayun. Thank God.